Well, Canada, welcome to your fall forecast. And this is the deal. A super El Nino is possible. One of the only occurrences of that in the 21st century was 2015. And we've been doing the seasonal forecasts for a long time here at the Weather Network, well over a decade. So I present to you the 2023 fall forecast release. There it is there, and we're gonna focus in on Western Canada first. Temperatures above seasonal from British Columbia to Manitoba. That's not great news with the wildfire situation out west and also the drought situation across Southern British Columbia. But we do expect a pattern change as we push into November. A lack of fall storms across the Great Lake Basin. We just won't have that temperature gradient available. So we have a below seasonal swath of precipitation. And in terms of the temperatures, the sea surface temperatures are a little bit above normal. That'll impact Atlantic Canada temperatures. By the time we average out the temperatures across Ontario, Quebec, it should finish near normal, but there should be a punchy shot of some chilly air through the heart of the fall season across the Great Lakes Basin. This is exactly what I mean. A classic fall start to fall. We may rev up that lake effect edge in, but it's not going to sustain itself as we push towards the end of fall 2023. Watch out British Columbia. A strong storm signal does exist with warmer than normal temperatures in the North Pacific.